Hey Wildcats, I'm Vittorio. And I'm Brioni. And welcome back to this week's Wildcat News. Well, that's what y'all want me to say, bro. For lunch we have pizza, french bread, baked fish on a multigrain bun, chef salad, pepperoni pizza, assorted fresh fruit, lettuce with spinach, steamed green beans, and mini corn on the cob. Hey Briani, what are you doing this weekend? Yeah, I'm gonna go to the beach, but I don't know if there will be bad weather. Let's check in for the weather with Ari. Hi Wildcats, I'm Ari with today's weather. Today's weather brings a high of 85 and a low of 71 degrees with a 15% chance of rain. Saturday's weather has a high of 86 and a low of 73. Sunday will bring a high of 86 and a low of 73. And that's it for today's weather. Back to the anchors. Have you been keeping up with sports lately? Not really. I've watched some, but I really need to catch up. Okay, let's go to Jake Wood Morrow for sports. Hey Wildcats, I'm Jacob. And I'm Mauro. The NBA play-in tournament has begun, where our Miami Heat were sadly defeated 116-105 to by the Atlanta Hawks. Luckily, the Heat will have another chance to get into the playoffs tonight at 7 p.m., where they will play the winner between the Toronto Raptors, the 9th seed team, versus the Chicago Bulls, the 10th seed team. In other news, the Florida Panthers have clinched a spot in the Stanley Cup playoffs after the Chicago Blackhawks defeated the Pittsburgh Penguins 3-1. We wish them the best of luck for the playoffs. In the Miami Marlins, a 4 victory over the Philadelphia Phillies, Marlins second baseman Luis Arraez became the first Marlin to hit for a cycle and the Marlins moved to a 5-7 record. We would like to correct, congratulate our boys basketball team for playing an amazing game defeating Citrus Grove. That is all for this week's sports and now back to our anchors. Hey Wildcats, I'm Livia. And I'm Braylon. And welcome back to this week's sixth grade segment. Today, we will be discussing the Holocaust, which occurred on January 30, 1933 to May 8, 1945. During the Holocaust, the Nazis killed about 6 million European Jews and at least 5 million prisoners. The Holocaust was caused because of the rough past with the Jews and what they called a distorted worldview. At this point, many Germans and non-Germans weren't very pleased with the Jews. They considered them a race whose goal was world domination. The Nazi party was a far-right political group led by Adolf Hitler. Hitler was a German politician that took control over Germany. He died in 1945 by committing suicide. The Nazi party is also responsible for the concentration camp used to kill and imprison the Jews. The concentration camps lasted from 1933 to 1939 and originate in Germany. The Jews didn't sit still, however. There were several instances of prisoners with weapons trying to escape. They also tried escaping while getting transported to the prison. From July 1944 to May 1945, the Russian military freed 10 camps in the east. The Allied forces freed five western camps in May of 1945, ending the war that same year. After the war, the United States, along with 50 other countries, founded the United Nations, an internal, international organization committed to keeping the peace and security worldwide. We would like to honor and remember the Jews that passed away in this horrific and terrifying event. That's all Over for this, this week, week Wildcats. Wildcats. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey Wildcats, I'm Daniela. And I'm Layla. And today we'll be talking about Earth Week and Plastic Free Lunch Day. Earth Day is a celebration that honors environmental mo movements. It raises awareness for the need to protect our planet Earth and promotes the reduction of plastic in school meals. Earth Week starts April 17th through 21, while Plastic Free Lunch Day starts April 19th. Participating in these activities will not only benefit you, but our environment. Bye, Wildcats. I wait. Now to the announcements. Congrats our, to our basketball team for beating Citrus Grove 66-11. to And congratulations to Nicholas Schaefer for getting MVP of the game. Robotics Club will be Tuesday, and Chess Club will be also Tuesday, and possibly Wednesday. Finally, next Wednesday, Broadcast will have an ice cream sale 
Lastly, there will be an end of the year dance. That's all for this week's Wildcat News. I'm Vittorio. And I'm Briani. Bye. Bye. Participate. Hey, Wildcats. I'm Vittorio. <laughs> <laughs> you put it on the pod. You put it on the <laughs> <laughs>